Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where we're going to look at Google Sites and how to edit the horizontal navigation area. Here I am in a site that I have edit rights to. I'm already signed in. I see I'm signed in up here. And the horizontal navigation is this area across the top where you can add these menu or link buttons to take you to specific pages or specific links somewhere on the web. So this is the area we want to edit. To edit this area and to maybe add some more pages to this drop down list, I'm going to go up to more and I'm going to choose edit site layout. It's about two thirds of the way down under site actions. When I go into edit site layout, it says at the top here, I'm in edit site layout mode right now. There are some buttons that appear here and I show what those are in another video. These, these, uh, these pertain to what you want to show on your site. And if I go down and I mouse over now, this area, notice there's a little box that appears that says edit horizontal navigation. So if I click anywhere on this horizontal navigation area, it takes me into the configure navigation window where I can now set the menu structure for my page. So this here, this select pages to show in order from top to bottom is how these menu choices will appear from left to right. So notice home is first, so home is my leftmost choice, FHS is the second, so that's the next choice, so on and so forth. If I have any pages indented like these two currently are, that means those will show up as submenus. When the user mouses over this, anything that shows in the list here will automatically appear. So this is where you have to set that structure up, and you do have to manually add each page and kind of assign it to where you want it to be in the horizontal navigation. So to do this, I usually click on about the area I want to add the new page. So I'm going to add a 7th grade art page here under FPMS, and I'm going to add an 8th grade art page here under FPMS. So I'm going to click on FPMS. I'm going to go to Add Page. This will open another window that allows me to choose the page I want to add. So I'm looking for 7th grade art. I don't see it here. But notice that some of the pages have little pluses next to them. That means that there are some pages already organized under that area in terms of how the website is set up. So if I click the plus, I can see here's the seventh grade art, here's the eighth grade art. So I'm just going to do one at a time, seventh grade art. I'm going to click on that so it's yellow. And I'm going to scroll down. And depending on how big your browser window is, you might need to do a little scrolling in order to get to the OK here at the bottom. So there's seventh grade art. But like I said, I want this to be indented with these other choices. So that's what these arrows here on the right are for. You can move menu items up or down. You can also move them in and out, left to right. So I want to use the right arrow while I'm selected on seventh grade to make it indented. And I'm also going to do this alphabetically. I'm going to put this up here. So it's going to be FPMS is the button. Seventh grade will show first, then 2D design, then sculpture. I'm going to go ahead and add the 8th grade page as well. So let's find that here. If I go to FPMS, 8th grade art, I click OK. And it automatically added it right underneath there because I had been clicked in about this area when I added the page. So I'm all done. I have to find the OK to get out of this. And I want to get out of edit site layout mode. So I'm going to click close up here just to get back to see the web page as if the viewer would see it. So now notice when I mouse over, FPMS, the menu choices that appear below that, 7th grade art, 8th grade art, 2D design, sculpture, those will take me to those specific pages. So that's how you can add submenu items to your horizontal navigation or how you can add buttons to your horizontal navigation. Thanks for watching.